Math Journal Entry, Tuesday, February 5th, 2019. Our new chapter this week is Geometry. That's the study of shapes. This week, we are learning to identify rectangles and measure them. A rectangle is a quadrilateral, which means a four-sided shape with four right angles. At first, it seemed like a lot to remember, but then something amazing happened that made it so much fun. Yesterday, while we were waiting for school to start, Abby found a tiny blue dinosaur under the bench. She looked cold, so I let her climb in my backpack. We decided to just keep her in Abby's backpack, and soon it was time for math. As Miss Lex started teaching, the craziest thing happened. The little dinosaur climbed out of my backpack, sat on my desk, and listened to every word she said. We named her shape a source. She helped us find rectangle shapes all over school. Hey, Abby. She's finding the shapes that we have been learning in math. Wait, she's not just finding them. She's painting them. How cool. And when she finds them, it looks like our math lesson from yesterday. Oh, yeah. We are measuring perimeter, the distance around the outside edge of the shape. And when she fills the shape in, it looks like when we are figuring out the area of a shape. Right. That's how much surface area a shape covers. To find the perimeter of a shape, you add up all the measurements of all the sides, like this. This rectangle measures 22 centimeters on the long side and 7 centimeters on the short side. Since it is a rectangle, we know that the sides across from each other are the same. When you add up all four numbers, your sum equals the perimeter. That's the distance shape a source will have to go if she walks along the edge of the shape all the way around it. 58 centimeters. So, shape a source. What about area? Area is how much surface a shape covers, like if we were painting the whole thing or covering it with carpet or fabric. To figure out the area, you multiply the length times the width. So for this same rectangle, we would multiply its length of 22 centimeters times its width of 7 centimeters. That gives us a total of 154 square centimeters. We say square because we are measuring in two directions. That was fun. Let's do another one. Okay, shape source, find us another shape. That works, what a cool square. Let's measure. So the first side is 10 centimeters. Hey Abby, since it's a square, we know all sides are going to be equal. So all four sides are going to be 10 centimeters. Yeah, easy peasy. We can add up all four sides. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, 40. Or we could take a shortcut and multiply the length of one side times four. 10 times four is 40. That works too. I like when there's more than one way to solve a problem. So the perimeter of the square is 40 centimeters. Go ahead, shape source, show us the perimeter. Now to find the area, we multiply the length and the width. So that's 10 times 10. That's one of our basic math facts. 10 times 10 is 100. So the area of the square is 100 square centimeters. Go ahead and fill it in, shape source. This is fun with little shapes. Now, let's try it with something bigger. For our final practice, let's go really big. Really big? Yeah, let's measure the PE cover. Shape source, show your stuff. How long is it, shape source? 50 meters! How wide is it? 20 meters. Okay, time to add those sides up. Shape source, you have to fly 140 meters to go around the perimeter of the PE cover. Okay, time to figure out the area. You have to multiply the length times the width. It gives us a huge surface area of 1,000 square meters. Okay, everyone, let's review real quick. When you are measuring rectangles, you can use those measurements in two different ways, to find perimeter and to find area. Perimeter is the distance around the outside edge of the entire shape. You find that by adding up all the sides. Area is the amount of surface that the shape covers. You find that by multiplying the length of the shape times the width. That's the entire surface or how much space the shape covers. I think that's enough for today. Let's find something shaped like a rectangle for our little friend to snack on. I have a Rice Krispie Treat. I have some Cheez-Its. I have a granola bar. I have a Hershey bar.